Tigre People's Liberation Front says there's been fighting active in the Amra state, which borders Tigray. A spokesperson says the military have been using heavy artillery, fighter jets and rockets to attack. Well, reporter Coletta Wanjoy is in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa and joins us now. Good evening, Coletta. What can you tell us about what you're seeing and hearing? What's happening on the ground there? Well, 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 what we have are reports from the rebel, uh, the rebel forces, um, accepting that they are being uh, they are being attacked. They say on all fronts, uh, they are calling this a genocidal move by the government. They are saying that the attacks are both on air and uh, ground attacks, and uh, they are accepting. They are saying that there have been a lot of casualties because of the of the, the past few days. Yesterday they they intensified their call, and today in the morning, um, here in Sababa in the morning, they actually also talked about it again and said that they will stand their front and ensure. That that they will hold on and defend themselves until they're able to defeat the government. So some people, as you say, are calling this civil war. Has the Ethiopian government responded to claims of renewed fighting? Not directly in the past few days. We've not seen that. However, we've seen a build-up of some issues. Uh, for example, in the past month, we saw the government uh, calling on to civilians to join the military forces if they want to. We saw them mobilizing so many, I mean, thousands of, of young people from different parts of the country and encouraging them to join uh, the, the military. And we saw them also moving some, uh, some forces towards the northern region. So that probably was a preamble of what was going to happen. But as for now, they have, the, government, uh, the federal government has not given a direct response as to what has been happening in the past uh, two days. Thank you so much.